What's up, guys? Welcome back to the show today. Uh, I am a little sick, so pardon my voice, but had a great time watching the Super Bowl. And here today, we're going to be talking about top 12 dynasty quarterbacks. I'm going to run down 12 to 1, my favorite dynasty quarterbacks at this point in my dynasty rankings. Uh, They could change slightly, obviously, with the NFL draft. Uh, Before we get going on the video today, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Uh, They are both big helps for me personally, and I would really appreciate it. So let's get it kicked off today. Number 12, we got Jordan Love, probably one of the biggest risers on the dynasty ranks uh, from last season. Jordan Love put up a great year for the Packers. He is still 25 years old, and I just think moving forward, I really love the weapons in Green Bay. Now, I tend to be slightly more conservative with my ranks when it comes to sort of like ranking people who I haven't seen do it as much. Uh, But I think moving forward, Jordan Love should be very solid. I love the play calling. And like I said earlier, I love the weapons. Jaden Reed, Christian Watson, Luke Musgrave, Aaron Jones should probably stick around. Wicks, Malik Heath, Romeo Dobbs. It just keeps going for that Green Bay offense. So I think the future is very bright for Jordan Love. And I would expect him to still really just stay within that top 15 of Dynasty ranks uh, for the next couple of years. And I think he's a pretty safe asset to go and acquire. Uh, He is very highly valued on sites like KTC, so he may not be as easy to acquire as some other guys. Number 11, someone we just saw in the Super Bowl. How about Brock Purdy? He's paired to an elite offense with elite weapons and an elite play caller. Very similar to Jordan Love, Debo, Kittle, CMC. Brandon Ayuk and Purdy put up monster stats this year as a fantasy quarterback, as well as just a great performance in real life. Bummer, he lost the Super Bowl to Mahomes, but I thought he played a pretty solid game. Look, no one is Mahomes, and that's just kind of how it's going to go down. Number 10, Kyler Murray came back from the ACL tear, you know, about midway through this year. I think he looked pretty solid. I do think he has some limitations uh, just with his size. Uh, his, you know, he, he, he's a great runner, but he tends to get hurt a little bit, but I would expect Arizona to add an elite offensive weapon this off season, maybe Marvin Harrison, Malik neighbors to pair with Trey McBride and Michael Wilson, a guy I really like. So I think Kyler Murray is, is a pretty safe asset here as a QB. I'd love to have him as my QB two. Uh, I'd really like to have an elite elite guy as my QB one, but I think for QB two, Kyler Murray is a great value and still a pretty good value in startups right now. If you're coming at it or trying to acquire him in a trade, I think there's just enough uncertainty with Kyler Murray that he is acquirable. Now we're going to start getting up to these guys who are going to be pretty tough to go get number nine, Anthony Richardson. This is probably the sketchiest ranking on my list. I think he has incredible upside. Jalen hurts upside but we really only got to see a tiny bit of it i think what keeps him here in my ranks is shane steichen being the head coach there obviously he really led to jalen hurts developing and i think anthony richardson is in the perfect situation i love josh downs michael Pittman, obviously jonathan taylor um i think that division isn't very hard when it comes to fantasy defenses and i think there's going to be some high scoring games you know jacksonville Texans have a good defense, but Stroud's going to put up those numbers. So Anthony Richardson here at number nine. Number eight, a guy I'm higher on than consensus, Trevor Lawrence. He's still 24 years old. I still view him as an elite asset. I think he's going to be in the NFL for a very long time. And I would imagine when Christian Kirk comes back, we're going to see a little more upside out of Lawrence than we kind of saw coming down the stretch this year. He had elite performances last year. I think we just kind of forgot that about Trevor Lawrence this year as he had kind of a down year. But even in a down year, he was a top 16 quarterback. So moving on to number seven here, and this is when it starts to get really close. I basically have the next five guys in a tier together until we get to those top two. Number seven, Justin Herbert, such a great thrower of the football. Now with Harbaugh there. I really don't see how you can't believe in Justin Herbert. I would imagine they add another weapon. They really need to. Keenan Allen should stick around. We'll see what happens with Austin Eckler. But Herbert's such a good player in a division that has to put up with some very solid teams. So we'll see moving forward for Herbert. But I think he is an elite quarterback in a dynasty league. And I would love to have Justin Herbert 
on my team in any format. Number six, Joe Burrow. We didn't fully get to see a full season of Joe Burrow this year. He was kind of in and out with injuries. But what we did see when he was per 100 percent we he we basically he reminded us how elite he can be especially paired with jamar chase we'll see what happens with t higgins uh but i think if t higgins leaves i think they replace him with someone else i talked about yosu Bosch earlier i think chase brown's a good guy coming in the passing game at running back so we'll see what happens but joe burrow such a great throw over the football will be around for the next 10 years in the nfl so no risk here jalen hurts number five i know jalen hurts has kind of been getting some flack recently but let's not remember let's not forget that he's put up just absolutely monster seasons in the past for the philly for philly the last three years and even if they change the tush push man he's still just gonna normal qb sneak it this dude is an absolute freak of nature paired to two of my favorite wide receivers in the game aj brown devonta smith dallas goddard a great number three so Jalen Hurts as safe as it gets when it comes to fantasy production. He's going to get rushing touchdowns and he has elite weapons surrounding him. Number four, CJ Stroud, man, join in the list. This dude absolutely balled out this year. I would not be offended by have him up maybe at number three. Like I said, Herbert, Burrow, Hurts, Stroud, and this next guy all in the same tier for me. Basically, that means they're a little more interchangeable than just this flat ranking uh, so I understand the upside and downside of each of them. But CJ Stroud, youngest guy on this list, elite season already, two amazing weapons. Let's see if they add a third this offseason. So CJ Stroud, man, great first round pick in startups. And I would love to have him on my team. Just seems like a great dude. Number three, Lamar Jackson. This dude has some of the biggest spike weeks in fantasy, which is something I really like out of the quarterback position. I want a guy who can win me games every single week or bring me back if I'm having a bad week. I love Zay Flowers. I think Isaiah Likely is a great addition. Mark Andrews will be back. Monken staying as the OC. All sets up for Lamar to be very successful in fantasy football and dynasty over the next decade. Even if he loses a step, Lamar Jackson still probably the most athletic quarterback in the league. Now, top two in a tier of their own. Josh Allen, been a top five QB, man, just as long as we can remember last couple of years. The dude just puts up monster numbers. He runs, he throws. We'll see what happens with his weapons this offseason if Diggs ends up leaving. I tend to think he's going to stay. I just think with his contract, it's going to be hard. But I would love to have Josh Allen on my team, man. This dude is automatic when it comes to scoring fantasy points. And number one, the GOAT, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, he may not be the QB1 every year, but he is the safest asset in Dynasty, even in a 1QB league, man. I'm not saying I'm going to take him one overall in a 1QB, but this dude is the safest asset. He is the best quarterback in the game and as long as Andy Reid there and as long as Patrick Mahomes is throwing the football this dude's going to be on your dynasty team for the next 15 years you know that Tom Brady Drew Brees asset where you can just ride him out his entire career so thank you guys for joining uh if you didn't already please please subscribe to the video we're trying to get up there uh later this week we're going to be running backs wide receivers tight ends so this was just to kick it off top 12 qbs for dynasty football 2024 offseason